Hi. Um, sorry, I was just talking to myself, I think. Um, welcome. I'm just going to go through this again. Welcome. My name is Michelle Tatrissa. I'm um, a Stamping Up demonstrator in New South Wales, Australia. Now, if you've never joined me before, please um, give permission on uh, your Facebook or um, on YouTube to allow StreamYards to post your name so I know who's leaving me comments. Please make sure you do comment. Just love to see hi and where you're from now i don't always see comments while i'm doing this live so if i don't see a comment i will get back to you after the event has finished now if you have any questions at all please post them so um, i can answer them for you so i'm going to flip this camera over now and we can get started so let me just change my camera view won't be one moment Okay, so I hope you can all see my desk and I hope this is all coming through well for you. So just let me just check comments. As I said, please um, comment so I know that you're there. Um, and I will get started. Okay, I'm hoping that everything is going to go okay because last week I did not see the comments until... We're completely finished, so they didn't show up. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at today is in the mini can catalogue, and it's the Ringed with Nature stamp set or bundle. Now, this is the stamp set, um, and I've got mine right here. Now, I have taken a couple of the elements out of this. Now, this this um, set is also a bundle and I'll show you the rest of the bundle in a minute because the stamp set is really very much independent from the dies. The dies don't cut out anything that's in this stamp set. So if you didn't want to purchase the dies, you could very well just purchase um, your stamp set and make create with that. Um, but the dies do add that extra element to it, of course. Now, remember, too, that when you purchase it as a bundle, you get a 10% discount. So it is well and truly worthwhile um, purchasing this whole bundle. So this is a stamp set, and you get, like, uh, this piece here is, like, a rings in your logs when you cut it in half. And then you have a point set here. You have a house have some mushrooms there's the stems of the mushrooms and the tops of the mushrooms you have some flowers some berries um it's like a little acorn top and some lovely little sentiments there as well and some leaves in there as well so you could build up quite a nice um arrangement um stamping directly onto your card or onto other elements you have now so that's the stamp set so it does come with a, um, the um, as a bundle with some dies, and the dies are a hybrid. Now I don't know whether you've seen hybrid uh, hybrid dies as yet. Um, it's a embossing folder and the dies. So let me just move this out of the row. I will bring this back in a minute because there is something else I do want to show you. But these are the dies, and when you purchase these dies. Um, so this embossing folder, it, it does come with a set of dies. Now, I've dismantled all my dies and they're all over the place. But the main thing I wanted to show you out of the dies, and I will show you the rest in a moment, is this piece here. So here's your embossing folder, and it's the actual piece right here. And now you can put your piece of cardstock in there. Now, I do have a sample of this here somewhere so I can show you buried underneath all my stuff bear with me one second i have been having quite a play today because this i will admit this is the first time i've really played with these hybrid um, bundles so you can pop your piece of cardstock inside your embossing folder and emboss and that's what you're going to get these ringed timber pieces now this is where the hybrid piece comes in this piece here fits, just got to get it on the right section, fits perfectly into this area just there, okay? And you can put your cardstock in there and emboss. So what it's going to do is emboss the rings 
but cut it out at the same time. So you'd pop your piece of cardstock into here and it will cut and emboss at the same time. And what you will end up with, okay, let me just go under my all my buried bits and pieces. What you will end up with is, I've got one more piece, this piece here. So it'll just cut these pieces out. So you end up with this piece here, which you can remove. Let me just flip it around so it's on the, the right side. So that's that and remove. And you have all these pieces that were cut out in these areas here so it will cut and emboss at the same time now you can only do this with your hybrid hi anita thank you for joining um so you can only do this with your hybrid dies um not every die is going to fit into your embossing folder so make sure you're using the right ones it can do is leave a little bit of an impression around the outside there but it's not going to damage your embossing folder too much so that's what the hybrid dies comes with so your dies you get this piece uh, you buy all this together uh, um, your embossing folder and your dies but there's a lot more dies in this bundle so let me just move all of this out of the road you do end up having all of these dies here now, as I said, I've pulled them all out because I've been playing with them. You've got these pieces, which then once you've, so you can take this piece here, if you don't want to cut out the, um, the external part, you can actually just go in and cut the internal but you wouldn't do this in your embossing folder this is done separately so with your embossing folder you're only cutting out the outside edge with this one here it'll cut the internal so you'll end up with pieces like say this piece here for example which is the piece that fits inside that one or is there another one I think it's inside that one I think it just sits just nestles into there like that okay you also have two of these little pieces here and what these do you pop when you're cutting these out you could pop these onto here that's the smallest one and I can bring all these little bits and pieces it will cut out a hole just like that one so the big ring let me just so your embossing folder will give you just the embossed image you can add the um that big die to your embossing folder which will cut out this pe these pieces for you then you can add these pieces onto here and i've just done this one in a different color and that will cut out that for you and then you have these pieces here and there's two different sizes a small one and a big one which cuts out that center piece there so that's how you get your ringed trees and it's worthwhile having a bit of a play. I've just gone ahead and just played with this and just cut all of that out. So that gives you all of these bits and pieces. Now I've got quite a bit of a mess here on my desk, as you can see. So let me just move all of those out of the road. And then what you have left are all of these other dies, which... these ones here cut out all of these little branch and leaves branches and leaves there's another one of those so they cut out all of those and i'll just cut them out in all different colors here because they're the colors i'm playing with 
So that will cut out all those. Then you have this one here, which is like little berries on it. And unfortunately, I don't have one there to show you because I'm using that on a card we're going to make in a moment. This one here is like cuts out this little piece here. And that is like the top of a mushroom. So you've got, I haven't cut these either. So you've got these pieces here, which give you your mushroom stems. So they, that is your top of your mushroom. So that would go, there's two stems there. So that would be just like that, for example, or the other way around. And then you could also, this little piece here, which is your top of your acorn, you can cut that little mushroom piece out and flip that around and that will form like an acorn so there's a lot there that you could do with this this set so there's one extra thing that you can purchase or you can get to go with this and i'm just going to show that to you now so let me just bring my catalog back in so this whole bundle here if you bought the stamp set and the hybrid embossing folder and dies all come to $93.50. Okay, when you spend $90 or more at the moment, you can get an item for free from Celebration. So here's my Celebration catalog. Guess what? They've brought in a beautiful range of designer series paper to coordinate with this particular bundle here. So you can purchase this. And that's $93.50. And that will give you enough to get this particular bundle or this particular set of paper. And it's a 20, uh, 12 by 12 or 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter bundle of paper, designer series paper. Now, let me just show you some of the papers. Okay. So we've got that one there. And then on the back of that one, so there's that one, there's your reverse. This one here, which is all your poinsettias, you've got your poinsettia, then you have the reverse, which is your trees. Now, I don't have the reverse of this one to show you because I've got this one ready to make a card out of, but isn't that beautiful? And then we turn it over and you've got those lovely um, plaid. Here's one with the mushrooms and butterflies and berries. So you can see how those stamp sets are all going, stamp set and dies are all starting to work in with that. And then you have your reverse on that one. Have this one with the houses on it. And we have our reverse, which is that one. And then you have this beautiful one, which is the birds and the reverse of that one as well. So it is really a, really comprehensive um, range of designer series paper so you can use this from Christmas to welcoming someone to their new home uh, through to autumn and even winter so um, there's quite a bit in this set that you can do things with now the one thing I did want to point out with as I said before all of these stamps don't actually coordinate um, with the dies but you could put the die one of the dies over the top of that um, and just cut out the shape now they have done that in a card here which is this one here or this one they've stamped it and then they've just laid the die over top it doesn't match it exactly but you still get those rings so it still will work um, and they've done the same with this one they've laid I think they've laid it or they've hand cut um, because some of these, let me just have a look. Sometimes it's worthwhile just to see where's that one with the timber on it. Because I've only just opened this up today, I really haven't looked. So there's that one. And I'm just wondering whether they've done this. No. No, that won't, it won't um, cut out those, but you could very well take, you just find some of these dies.
don't think they would cut you may have to hand cut those out i have to do a little bit more playing so i'll let you know if i work it out as i said i've only just opened this up and started playing with this today okay so it's time let's put all this away and start making a card because really that's what we're here to do is to make a card so let me just pop all of these out of the road and hopefully we won't lose them and let me bring in what we're going to be doing today so this is all the bits and pieces that i've got now i just wanted to show you first that's a card i made earlier this morning just to sort of playing around um with the designer series paper on its own because i just i love the birds in this and just adding some of those um, branches now i've cut some of those branches in one of your metallic um, papers as well so you know you only need to do a card quite simply and um it shows up really well in that paper and then that's the the middle so i've used the um, stamp there to create a background i've used a little strip of leftover paper of course, I'd add a little bit of colour in it, and I've added some of my branches on the inside there as well. But that's not the card we're going to make right now. We're going to be using this piece of designer series paper. And what I have got here is I've got a piece of Knight of Navy as my card base, and I've cut this at 10 and a half centimetres by 29.9, and I've scored it at 14.9. I have got a piece of, um, what's that one, Poppy, Poppy Parade, and I have cut that at 10 by 14.4 centimetres. I've got my piece of designer series paper, and I've cut that at 9.7 by 14.1 so I've just gone down a little bit more this one here the between this size and this one I've taken it down by half a centimetre and this one here I've made it smaller by three millimetres so just a little bit um, slightly different I like to have just a very fine trim of colour around the outside edge I don't necessarily like having another same amount I love just having that little peak of color coming through I've got a piece of very vanilla which I'm going to pop on the inside of my card for any um, to allow somewhere for someone to write I've got my little scrap because when I cut my designer series paper I actually cut it at six inches and then I cut it or down to not six yeah six inches which is about 15 centimeters and then I cut it down to 10 centimeters and then when I cut this down to my what I say is 9.7 by 9.7 by 14.1 I end up with this little piece here that's just cut off the bottom and that's what I'm going to adhere onto the inside of my strip here just to add a little bit of color and decoration to the inside of my card now i've also embossed and cut all my pieces for my wood ringed wood as you can see there and then i've cut some of these little branch pieces out in both the knight of navy and the poppy parade i've also got a little piece of and i've already stamped this a little strip of um mint macaron sorry i had to think about what color i had there and i'm just stamping on that happy anniversary now i will show you again how i've stamped that i have got a piece here somewhere um, and trim that down to such a finer um, piece using a post-it note so first off I'm actually going to because I've done a lot of talking about how you actually do these rings so I'm actually going to do it now and show you straight up how it's all done so let me just pop those to one side I have my 
large cut and emboss machine here. Now, when you're doing this, you don't need your, because you've got plate number one, which you need. You don't need plate number two, and you don't need your two Perspex plates because we're going to use our plate number four. So let me just grab my embossing folder. I've got a piece of my cardstock there and all I need now is those dies. Here we go, the large ring die there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our embossing folder and you've got one side which is a lot higher up than the other and that's the one we're going to sit this on with our blades going up. I think we're sitting it on that one. No, we're sitting it on the other one. Sorry. There we go. So I've got my blades. So I've got my flat surface of my die that's going to fit straight into that flat surface and my blades and my dies are upright. So I've got that piece there. I'm just trying to get this so you can see this a bit better. Now I've cut this piece in quarter, into a quarter piece. Probably could have cut it a little bit bigger, but it just will fit inside there. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to take my plate number four and pop it on top and run that through the die cut. Now this is where it's going to emboss and cut all at the one time. So we're coming through the other side here. Move that out of the road for the moment. So when we open this up, as you can see, it's cut and emboss all at once. Now, if I wanted to cut out the centre part out of this, like I've done, so this here, the cardstock I've used here is um, soft suede, and then I've used to get these pieces, I've used the um, crumb cake. Okay, so once you've cut this out also in crumb cake, exactly the same as I've done there, you can then take your next, your die, pop that, and match it up to the right one, pop that on the inside there. So we've done all that part. We're going to, don't need the embossing plate anymore. We will bring this back in. So you need that plate, number one, you'll need plate number two. Then you need plate number three, which is your bottom piece. Pop your piece on there, just nest it on the inside. Put your other plate three on top. And run that through again. And that's what we're left with. It has flattened out my embossing a little bit, but it still works quite well. So that's how I've ended up with these pieces here and as I said I've just popped that other die when I was cutting out this one I popped that other die piece in there to give me those holes in the center of my rings okay so that's just to show you exactly how that was all done don't want to lose that little piece so with our card let's pop this card together it's quite simple I've just gone ahead and just cut a whole stack of bits and pieces out. Now, with our sentiment, I am going to stamp my sentiment in my Knight of Navy onto my mint macaron. So 
So I'm just stamping that right in the middle there. Trying not to rock that too much. Whoops, getting ink on my fingers. Then we're going to take a piece of post-it note just to add a bit of a, a handle on there so I can handle that. And you can bring in your trimmer. Let me just move those out of the road. And I'm going to trim this down. Now I'm just going to use my slip there as a guide to where I want it to go. I want that um, sentiment to be a little bit lower. If you've got the guillotine, you probably will get um, um, a better... Uh, cut so let's fingers crossed and see how we go and I'm just going to cut that down like that so once I've done that sign I'm going to take that off post it attach it again on the other side and just repeat that just lining up that center strip with the bottom of my sentiment and cutting again and that's just going to give us that little very fine sentiment there post-it notes work out really handy for giving you something to hold on to um and i yeah uh, i can't do this without them i think they're a, a must have in your toolkit okay so we're going to take our mat and our card front and we're going to adhere those together. Now you can adhere them together using either your seal or you can use multi-purpose glue like I do. I like my liquid glue because it does allow me time to um, move my designer series paper into place if I'm not happy with the position I've got. So I can have a few seconds there to slip that up around and get it where I want it. Give it a good rub just to make sure that all that liquid glue has spread out. You don't want big lumps of glue there underneath your designer series paper. Now these are just a very good and quick way if you've got to make lots of cards um, using your designer series paper as a focal point is really good and very very quick. So I'm just adding some more multi-purpose glue onto the back of my mat there. Of course, you could add dimensionals if you want to add dimensionals. But I just want to keep that nice and flat, just allowing that glue to, again, slip that into place for me. Quite happy with that. Give that another good rub. Okay, so I've got my sentiment here and I want to have my sentiment going across there. I've also got these two. So what I want to do is adhere those together. So you've got the bark on the outer area of your tree trunk and then you have your rings on the inside. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. And then line that up and nestle that inside that just like that and that's going to go underneath so we're going to probably pop that there so then our sentiment is going to go across there somehow probably use some dimensionals so let me just have a look for some very the fine mini dimensionals which is really good for this sort of thing should have some here here we go so i'm just going to grab a few mini dimensionals i'm not taking the back off this these at the moment i'm just going to going to pop them onto the back of my sentiment piece now i haven't trimmed this down but i think it's It's probably just 
about right. I can take just a little bit off the end, not much. I'm just going to just take just like a millimetre or so off there because I just want it to go just within that area of, yeah, it's about the same width now. So I'm going to add a couple of more dimensionals because I want a bit of support in here, but I'm not one there. Good thing I didn't cut this any narrower. It's only just the width of my dimensionals. And I'm putting, whoops, four dimensionals on that. So I've got plenty of support there. But I'm not peeling the backs off just yet because I want to work out how we're going to position all of this. So that's going to go there like that. And then I was looking at some of these coming in. Now you could put a little bit of linen thread underneath there if you wish. Um, I'm just wondering whether. I think we might just do something very simple because I just want to keep this card very, very simple. So I think we'll do now is it here this down so we're just going to pop some glue on the back here i'm not adding wanting to add too much height with the, the elements that i'm popping on here because i do want the the height to be in that sentiment just give that a bit of a hold now if you find that these things aren't sticking if you get a one of the blocks and sit that on top that'll hold that down for a little bit until you're ready to go now let's put the That will give you a little bit of flatness there. And we want to pop maybe one of these at the back. I like to have one up, one down. And that's going to cover that. It's going to pop a little bit of glue just here. I'm only just putting a little bit of glue. You don't need to put too much. Spread it out a little bit. I want these to look like they're just being sat there, not necessarily plastered down. And you want to keep your glue to a minimum so you don't have it oozing out everywhere. And then that sentiment is going to hide where all of those little bits and pieces are. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take the backings off our sentiment. Turn it around so it's going the right way. So that's just just very, very simple. And then we're going to take, because I think too, if you've got, a very busy um, designer series paper you don't need to go too complicated in your card design you do want to keep it relatively simple because you don't want it to be overpowering now this is just going to sit just slightly inside and I'm going to leave it a, a little bit of 
an edge around it because it is slightly narrower than my insert piece. And then I might just add a branch or a couple of branches. in my blue and red. So it's not the ones of the berries. If I had the ones of the berries die cut, you could use those. But I've just got these ones for the moment, so I think this will do. It's just to add a little bit of prettiness to the inside of your card. Pop that one there. This one, which is a lot finer, will pop on top. And I'm just going to help pull out some of those colours from the card. Just overlap that slightly. And then we can adhere that to the inside of our card. So Okay, and I'm just going to turn that over and just give that a good rub down just to make sure that the glue is adhered well and it's nice and flat. And there you are. There's that card. And where is the other card I did today? So there's the other card that I've made. Um, just using two of the different colours. So this one here, I used exactly the same measurements for this card except this one here, my sentiment strips a lot wider to cater for the bigger sentiment. I've used a little bit of linen thread just looped up underneath um, and then I've used one of the metallic papers to cut out some of those um, branches just to fill in some of this area here. So just a really good and quick way to make a card. They're fairly simple. You can be able to knock out these cards fairly quickly. Um, but it's a it's a beautiful set and I'm looking forward to playing with it a little bit more and seeing what I also can create um, with this. And of course there's lots of ideas inside your, um, your catalogue as well. So have a look at them and um, case them if you have to or um, case what I've done today you're quite welcome to. So I'm just going to flip my camera back to me, won't be one moment. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed today. Just, as I said, a very, very simple card. But, you know, uh, yeah, um, it is a lot of fun to play with these um, these new dies and um, embossing folders and seeing what you can come up with. Um, yeah, so um, give it a try. Purchase them. Um, I'd love to see what you make. So um, please tag me in. Um, so uh, so I can see what you've made. Now, I'm not quite sure who you are. Pretty card, Michelle. Thank you. Um, I'm not quite sure because you haven't given permission to the Facebook for your um, name to be shown, but thank you very much. I do appreciate your comments. So take care. Have a lovely day, and um, I'll see you next week, and we might make something else. Okay, so take care now. As I said, if you have any questions, please post them up here and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye for now. Bye.